So I was expecting that at least they will take the market nifty to 17,500 and they will short the market. But to my surprise today morning itself they shorted the market. So I think it gapped down then it tried to recover and it in fact it went upside right. Is, did it gap up? Uh, let me check. Yeah. Yeah, it gapped down actually. It market, if you see the Nifty, it, this thing gapped down today and uh, it was trying to take the market on the upside, but just failure. Around 2, 2 p.m. today afternoon, they started uh, selling heavily. All these days, not all these days, for the last six months, I have been telling, don't, I will, I am not bullish in the market and I am bearish in the market. And if you ask me why you haven't shorted the market, we don't short the market because we are option seller. Option sellers tend to be the non-directional traders. And if the, if the market moves, uh, is trending, then we will make some adjustments. That is how we are, we are used like that, right? So that is how we trade. And uh, I, this was not a big surprise. Anyway, I thought at least 17,500, they will touch 17,500. And yesterday I told 17,600. There was a gap formation on 17,600. I thought they will take it till there but today itself they started selling thanks to global queues i think uh, yesterday uh, yesterday i forgot to tell you people one thing that uh, if you see yesterday uh, future bank nifty futures was trading at a discount of around 70 points 70 or 75 points yesterday only Berlin, uh, nifty was performing and that too only because of reliance Today that also gone. If you see Reliance, Reliance has out. Uh, Reliance has not performed today. It's down by 1.5 percent, and uh, HDFC Group is around 2 percent. HDFC Bank alone is down by 2 percent, and you know how much is a weightage in Bank Nifty. Uh, HDFC is having weightage in Bank Nifty, and uh, SBA, Axis Bank, and I think ICICI is coming out with the results tomorrow, and. Uh, I don't know what is going to happen. Even if it goes on the high side, uh, ICICI is not having as much as weightage as HDFC Bank. So you can expect, you can just simply go and sell calls now. You will make money. Sell 18,000 call, 18,000 above 18,000 call, you will make money. Market is not going to go to 18,000. And India VIX is also shooting up and open interest I will show you there literally no put rating in bank nifty put options they are not rating put options in bank nifty only aggressive call in April series expiry just only four more trading sessions and uh, people told that markets may go to few, nifty will go to 50,000 60,000. See, I am, I am a guy who talks based on what is happening in the markets. We don't talk based on what my positions are. Now, yesterday I had a straddle, strangle, still I was telling I am bearish in the market, right? So that is how we are uh, doing things here, right? So anyway, you don't think I am, <laughs> I am telling anyone, I am just telling in general. So generally that is what, see, that is also right because when you comes, when it comes to social media, no, you have to talk general. You cannot talk what your uh, positions are like or you, you cannot talk specifically. That is the reason. I am nothing bad in that. I am not complaining about anyone. You don't mistake me, okay? Anyway, coming back to the markets and if you see the open interest also, before seeing the open interest, if you see the FIA data, if you see the FIA data, yeah, this is the FIA data, yeah, this is the FIA data. And what we can see here is FIs have sold for around 2,461 crores. This also I have been telling for a very, very long time. Whenever, whenever they, whenever, yeah, whenever they sell, they sell in uh, huge numbers and whenever they want to buy, they buy in small numbers. This is what is happening for a very, very long time. So if you see here, uh, yeah. So if you see here, this is uh, Bank Nifty and uh, sorry, this is FIA data and open interest also. Aggressive call writing, 17,400 call writing is happening, which was yesterday's high. And uh, some hope is around 17,000. If market touches 
goes below 17,000, then we will see market going towards 16,800 and ultimately 16,400 is the lowest point uh, in last few weeks or months. So I think you can, this is the right time to short the market and HDFC, I think they will going forward, HDFC, they are going to remove it from uh, Nifty 50 and if they remove it from Nifty 50, I will be the first person to be very happy. Only because of HDFC, all this drama is happening from see 17,200, 17,025 to 13,053, more than 40, 50% uh, uh, wiped out. And you imagine if somebody had bought bank nifty uh, HDFC at 17,000, what is the, it is not going to go, uh, go to 17,000 anytime soon. It is going to take lots and lots of time. Maybe your grandchildren will enjoy. And who knows, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> if there is any good news, they will take it to even uh, 3,000. We really don't know, right? So this is the current scenario of the market. And uh, as I told you, go and short the market. You can short the market. All this drama, whatever drama happened uh, to us two days back, that is when you see, uh, when we saw Nifty and uh, when we saw what is that, uh, Nifty was falling like uh, anything held 400, 400, 450 points just two days back. The same scenario happened in Dow Jones yesterday. So uh, I think around 11.30 or uh, 12 o'clock, Dow was uh, uh, up by around 400 points. Then uh, around uh, 3.30, 4 o'clock, it was down by 300 points. That is the, uh, this is how uh, you, even US futures are. Even yesterday, even if the uh, your Dow future uh, was, uh, uh, US markets were rallying for two or three days, there was a not, there was not even a slight uh, uh, reduction in bond deals. Bond deals were still on the higher side. It was increasing only and still bond deals are increasing. And bond deal is the one of the very important proxy when it comes to uh, market. See, bond deals, people uh, use bond deals to check the sentiment of the market. Whenever the bond deals are high, means smart money is moving towards uh, bonds and they don't think markets are going to give good returns. That's why they are pulling the money from stock market and going towards bond. So that is what is happening here. Smart money thinks ma markets may not go on the upside. It is no way it is going to go on the upside and it, you don't expect it to go and uh, go on the upside uh, every time. It, it, we, it cannot keep on going on one direction. It has to retrace and that is what is happening. And fear of inflation is also there. I think US, uh, US uh, Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, I think uh, going forward, they will increase the uh, interest rate by even 50 basis point. And uh, that is uh, what is happening here. Maybe markets are factoring in those kind of uh, scenarios. And uh, go, the overall picture is that uh, economy is not going to expand furthermore. Commodity prices are high, inflation is very high. To curb the inflation, there is no other way to curb the inflation apart from increasing the interest rate. So that is what is happening. This is a cyclical. So people, many armature traders believe that market will keep on going and they will buy the every dip. Now what is happening here is retailers are whenever the market hits, let's say for example Nifty, Whenever the market hits 16,500 or 16,000, they jump in and they buy. But I will tell you, the retailers cannot do this for a very prolonged time. They are, retailers are very much limited. And FIAs and DAs are ultimately the market movers and they are going to win. Retailers, you can shake the sentiment of retailers, but you cannot shake the sentiment of FIAs and institutions. Institutions and FIAs are very strong. They don't have emotional problem, but retailers are not like that. You can shake them. You can make, uh, do whatever you want, uh, or you can make them, uh, they are like just puppets. See, I'm also a retailer. You don't mistake me, but I'm telling you, this is the fact. You can just uh, 
you can just tell them and you can manipulate them that's what i'm trying to see media everything every social media every television is only working for fis and uh, hnis and not for retailers they really don't care about retailers they are bread and butter are retailers retailers bring in the money just to lose to fis hnis and every people that is what is happening here now you don't mistake me this is what is happening so i am telling you the facts here that is what i am trying to do so anyway you can short the market of course there's a disclaimer you will have to do it at your own risk and <laughs> responsibility thank you for uh, watching and i hope uh, you should have a happy weekend at least for two or three days uh, take care bye